I'm Deborah Borchardt and this is your Marijuana Money Minute. We are getting close to our first event focusing on the investment opportunities for psychedelics. Psychedelics are really getting a lot of attention now as a treatment for conditions like drug-resistant depression. We are so excited to present this summit on January 24th in New York City. Go to www.greenmarketsummit.com for more details. There's a new Ontario-based limited partnership that was created to buy cannabis-based real estate businesses called Subversive Real Estate Acquisition REIT. They closed on their initial public offering, raising $200 million. Well, we have another cannabis divorce to announce. Bang and Origin House have terminated a deal to combine. Bang will get royalty payments, uh, manufacturing equipment, and some Origin House shares valued at roughly $1.1 million. Grow Generation reported their earnings this week. They had revenue of $80 million for the 2019 fiscal year. That was an increase of $51 million over 2018. The revenue for the fourth quarter was $26 million versus $9.1 million for the same time period last year. Cushco Holdings also reported their earnings. Net revenue increased 38% from last year's fiscal first quarter to $35 million. The net loss was about $12.5 million versus last year's $8.6 million. The company also said that it was off to a positive start with the recently launched Hemp Trading Desk, which is on pace to achieve $25 million in revenue for fiscal 2020. Emerald Health Therapeutics has agreed to a second tranche of funding that brings it up to $4.5 million. High Times told investors that it accepted the resignation of Craig Fox as the company's chief executive officer and president on December 24th. On January 6th, they named Stormy Simon as the company's new CEO. She is the former president of Overstock.com. She was also on the board. Vireo Health announced that workers at its Maryland Merrimed voted overwhelmingly to ratify a collective bargaining agreement and officially will join the ranks of United Food and Commercial Workers, Local 27. Saul Global Investments company CanCure Investments will be going public through a reverse merger with Goldstream Minerals. CanCure will be called Bluma Wellness with operations in Florida via One Plant Florida, which is also known as Three Boys Farms, and in California with the premium flower cultivator Northern Emeralds. That deal is expected to close on or about March 31st. And finally, Erica Pittman officially joined Viola as its new CMO. This appointment marks the first female African-American CMO of a multi-state cannabis operator. Congratulations. And that's it for this week. I'm Deborah Borchart reporting for the Green Market Report.